Welcome my dear learners for this course on engineering graphics. In this module 4 we were discussing on development of lateral surfaces of solids. So far we have solved 9 problems on development of lateral surfaces of solids. Moving ahead the problem number 10 of our discussion states that a hexagonal pyramid of sides 35 mm and altitude 65 mm is resting on HP on its base with two of the base sides perpendicular to VP. The pyramid is cut by a plane inclined at 30 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP and is intersecting the axis at 30 mm above the base. Draw the development of the remaining portion of the pyramid. Let us solve this problem. As I usually say, always draw the top view first for a solid resting on HP. First, let me draw the XY line and draw the top and front view of the given problem for which let me take the reference take this as x and y we have vertical plane and horizontal plane now i can draw hexagon such a way that i will get corners on either side or edge on either side but if you carefully observe he says that such that the two of the base sides should be perpendicular to vp so two of the base sides should be perpendicular to vp which means that i should get edges on either side then only that side edge will be perpendicular to vp correct so for that draw in line which is equal to the side length the external pyramid of sides is 35 mm so draw in vertical line of side length which is equal to 35 which is nothing but side length and take this as radius of the circle to be drawn this is O, O1 you people already know how to draw how to construct hexagon by using circle method so taking this as radius now construct a circle if you draw a vertical line and take re reference as this vertical line you will get edge on either side if you draw horizontal line and take it a reference and draw you will get corner on either side I want edge on either side because in the problem he is clearly stating that two of the base sides are perpendicular to VP which means that I should get edge on either side so therefore I am taking vertical line of 35 mm taking this as radius I will construct a circle draw a thin very thin circle done now cut equal arcs 1 2 3 and then we have 4 and 5 done now connect these arcs you will get the hexagon with sides perpendicular to VP since this is a pyramid from all the corners join a line towards center this is to indicate the slant edges in the top view always for solids resting on HP draw the top view first keep that in mind done mark this as A B C D E and F. Now take the projection and complete the sketch. Now construct the front view for which the altitude of the axis is specified. It is 65 mm. Since longer edge, the slant edge BO is coming in front of the axis, axis will become invisible. Give preference to edge. So therefore, lay down the edge that is 65 mm is the axis height which is also equal to the slant edge BO is intervening it BO is not of this length is not the true length of BO because we will get true length if and only if the line is parallel to the plane on which you are taking the projection this length is how much this is the length of the axis, height of the axis, which is found to be 65. 
correct now cutting plane is inclined an angle of 30 degree to hp and it is passing through the axis at a distance of 30 mm above the base so mark 30 mm above the base on the axis where in which you should show the cutting plane making an angle of 30 degrees to hp this is from base show the dimension as 30 mm from the base done now you connect the slant edges i connected the slant edges Now mark it, we have A dash, F dash, here we have B dash, O1 dash, E dash, here we will get C dash, D dash, here we will get C dash, D dash. Now if you observe, we have totally 6 slant edges, A to O, B to O, C to O, D to O, E to O and F to O none of these are parallel to vp so therefore we don't have true slant edge dimension in the front view you have to get the true slant edge in the front view rotate any one of the slant edge in the top view and make it parallel to vp either you can rotate od backwards and make it parallel or you can use oc and make it parallel let me use oc and make it parallel and solve this problem Let me take a reference at the center. Now rotate this one. Take it as a radius and rotate. If you take it as a radius and rotate, you will get the point here, which is already done. And call this as C1 call this as c1 now take projection from c1 take projection from c1 taken projection from c1 this I will call it as C1 dash. Now connecting this to O dash, I will get true length of the slant edge. So this is the true slant edge I will get. O dash C1 dash. O dash C1 dash is a true slant edge whose dimension is turning out to be if I measure. I am getting its dimension as seventy four seventy four millimeters. The true slant edge dimension is seventy four millimeters. Now lay down the cutting plane that is. It is making an angle of 30 degree to HP. So draw 30 degrees to HP. Thirty degrees to HP. Where in which you lay down the cutting plane. Lay down the cutting plane. So this is the cutting plane making an angle of 30 degrees to HP. Now if you carefully observe, cutting plane is not intersecting the base, it is intersecting only the slant edges, no need to worry about the dimension that I have to measure from the top view. If the cutting plane cuts the base edge, then I should take the measurement from the top view, keep that in mind. Now coming for the slant edges AO, that is A dash O dash is intersected here, mark it as 1 dash. Next BO, that is B dash O dash, here I will get. 2 dash next to CO is C dash O dash here I will get 3 D dash here itself I will get 4 for E it is 5 and for F it is 6 
so totally we got 6 here the angle is 30 degrees this angle is 30 degrees now transfer all these points 1 to 6 to true slant edge so transferring which I will get 1 and 6 first I will transfer to the true slant edge transferred and I will call this as 1 dash and 6 dash here I will transfer 6 and 5 6 and 5 I will transfer I will call it as 2 dash and 5 dash so here just you transfer 4 and 3 so this will be 3 dash and 4 dash clear so transfer all the points to the true slanted now take only true slanted 74 mm as a reference and all the points are already transferred use it to construct the development now first take 74 mm as a radius draw an arc for unknown angle then if i cut it and unfold the faces i'll get six triangular faces because it is a hexagon of side length sorry i not shown the side length show the side length in the top view the side length of each is 35 mm so this dimension is given in the question which is 35 millimeters all dimensions are mm if i won't mention next you draw the arc you draw an arc by taking 74 mm as a radius taking 74 mm as radius draw an arc Draw an arc for 74 mm. Now measure 35 mm and cut 6 equal parts. Cut this into 6 equal halves. That is, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you will get 6 for which you should extend this further extended measure 35 one more is 6 one more is 6 completed now connect these that is A B C D E, F and E. Hope it is invisible. Let me pull back. Yes. Now connect these points that is O to A, then O to B, then O to C, O to D, then O to E, O to F, and finally O to A because beginning and ending points are same correct so this is an hexagonal pyramid so therefore you should get sharp edges draw sharp edge for a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f and f to a sharp edges done now you transfer these points 1 to 6 that is from O you measure 1 and 6 on the true slant edge 1 and 6 I measured so from the center 1 and 6 1 so transferred 1 6 1 next you measure 2 and 5 so 2 and 5 is measured on the true slant edge 
transfer 2 and 5 2 is on OB and 5 is on OE so transfer 2 and 5 3 and 4 we measure and transfer 3 is for OC and 4 is for OD so this is 3 and this is 4 I transfer all the points now you connect these points 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 that is 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 1 so this lower portion is retained so connect O to A sorry 1 to A 2 to B 3 to C 4 to D 5 to E 6 to F and 1 to E and the top portion will be removed so this top portion will be removed so this is the development this is the development required for the given problem where in which the dimensions are this is 74 radius this is 74 mm radius and this dimension each side is measuring 35 mm given each base side is measuring 35 mm so this is the complete solution for problem number 10 that's all from this lecture thank you all